hungry, I'm hungry you two for more power and I want that 114. I just need you guys to let me know if it's worth the money or not. I got one question for all my Harley riders out there. The 114 cubic inch engine, is it worth the money? Let me know. Yes sir, we are out here doing it. You see my boy Trev got the old school hip hop jumping off right now. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July and enjoyed that last video. Man, it was really fun to make that. I am already off to the next day out here grinding. I've got something new in the garage. Let's go check it out, see what it is. Let's get money. Who's on the beat? Yes, sir, and you guys can see it is a badass helmet. I was on Marketplace again, and I found another great helmet. You guys see it is the uh, Speed and Strength Seek and Destroy helmet. Guys, that is badass. It is brand freaking new. Let me show you uh, what it looks like. Man, that is awesome helmet. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Guys, that is awesome. I'm gonna jump up in there. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other helmet, but let's take it over to the big daddy road glide that is. Yes, sir, and let me know what you guys think about that, but I think it goes great with the bike. I'm gonna set it right there. You guys can see it next to the bike. I think it matches up really, really good with that Harley Davidson orange right there. Definitely loving it. Let me post it up and let you guys see it like that but I really think it worked out. Man, I paid a total of $74 for this helmet, guys. I had to pay for shipping, but if I wouldn't have had to pay for shipping, it would have only been about 50 something bucks for this helmet. It is brand new. And again, like I told you, fellas, there are people on places like Facebook Marketplace that just don't ride anymore and they don't want this stuff. They're gonna give it to you for super cheap, all right, yes sir, man, check it out. I think it's gonna go with the Warrior too. You see the Warrior looking so mean right now, but I think that helmet would go with either bike. I think it'll either go with the Road Glide, the Big Daddy Road Glide that is right here, and it'll also go with the Road Star Warrior, the Mean Machine right here. Man, it's looking so crispy, loving that helmet. Let me know if you guys like this brand right here. If you know anything about it, let me know, but from a look standpoint, man, it is hitting them hard. It is going down today, about to jump on the bike. Got the road fly out today. Got my man T, Trev, behind me, guys. As you see, he is on that street, street glide. The blue metallic paint inside. We about to get out and slide today. You see my guy in the background. First off, welcome back to the channel, Big Burns. Moto Life, hustle and muscle every day. It's a beautiful Sunday. About to jump out here and get a nice ride in and see what we can get into today. Yes sir, we are just out kicking it today on a beautiful Sunday. I got the glide, he got the street glide, I got the road glide next to me. Yes sir, we are just getting it done right now. Trev got the old school hip hop jumping off right now. We are just out on a Saturday, I'm sorry, a Sunday, just getting it done. My guy Trev in the background right there, getting it done, man. It is all good. You see he got the fresh Harley shirt on. I'm jealous of that shirt. I'm wanting that right now. Check that out, fellas. It is always important to make sure you are giving those hand signals out. That is all about safe ride. That's just another tip coming from me right here. Yes, sir. We are back at the channel, man, and I got to give love 
where love is due. You see my guy right here, Trevi Trev in the house. Guys, remember, he been on the videos with me. We've been out rocking and rolling. Man, you gotta give a shout out to your uh, motorcycle club for the way, by the way. I'm out of Brothers at a Hammer out of Warren, Ohio. That's what's up, big dog. Hey, anybody else with out of, ga out of gangs, motorcycle clubs, man, out of motorcycle clubs, we definitely wanna give you some love, but we gotta show his Cosmic Blue Pearl Street Glide right here. Man, I don't know if you guys can see, I had to pull over in the sun, man. It is hitting off that so good. Trev, man, I am loving the bike right now, man. It looks so good with the sparkles in it. What's your favorite part about the bike over here? What's your favorite part about this? Favorite thing is this chromed out motor. Oh my God, I gotta get up on that, guys. You can see it's all chromed out. I'm a chrome guy, he's a chrome guy. Guys, my guy Jerry over at JLS Choppers, he's not, but that's all right, man. We still gonna rock the chrome, but you guys can see, I don't know if the camera is doing the bike justice, but that sun hits off that and that glow with the sparkles in there looks so crazy, man. Oh, by the way, man, I am loving that Harley Davidson shirt you got. I am jealous of that, man, I'm loving it. Let me oh, just yeah. check it in the back real quick. That's kind of dope shirt right there. I'm definitely feeling that. Let me know if you guys feeling that shirt in the comments below, but definitely had to pull over and show you guys the street glide. Of course, the big daddy road glide that is right here. You guys see that all day long. We're gonna always show that to you no matter what. But we just out on a Sunday kicking it, man. What you wanna do now, man? We gotta hit something, do something, man. We gotta slide somewhere. All right, let's get out of here and go slide, man. Let's do something. <laughs> stagger right there as you guys see it is a great way to keep you guys safe and enjoy that ride don't forget to show me that like man subscribe to the channel let's go oh yeah it is definitely time to kick it my man got the old school going right now you can hear it in the background there we go the way that arrived at the show the reason why uh, i don't know so let's go cut <laughs> I want to get you guys opinion on real quick I am currently right now you guys see I am on the 2015 road glide special which has the 103 cubic engine in it I am ready to upgrade and move to the 114 I want to get you guys thoughts out there let me know what you think about the 114 cubic Milwaukee 8 engine. That is a lot of money to spend on a bike. And I wanna make sure I make the right choice. So I wanna to talk to you guys out there. If you know that engine or you have a street glide, road glide, breakout, whatever. Guys, whatever you got. If it's got the 114 cubic uh, engine in there, I wanna know what's your thoughts on it. I am ready to upgrade and move this thing around and get it moving. But I want your opinion out there because I respect you guys, the public. Sure, I could go to Harley Davidson and talk to those guys, but they're gonna say, you know what? This engine is absolutely amazing because they're trying to move that bike and move that product. And I totally get that, but I want your guys' opinion because you guys will give me the real, the realness. It won't just be powdered down, sugar-coated. It'll be the realness aside from having more horsepower and more foot pounds of torque i know it's a powerful engine but i want to know a little bit more about the engine guys what could i expect from the 114 what's the maintenance look like on that motor um, what are they doing to keep that motor cool because i know the bigger the motor the more power the more it takes to keep that engine cool so let me know what you guys think i'm just getting a quick ride in through the country right now it is a great scenic route hope you guys are enjoying this some twisties in here some nice little twisties coming at you just like to get out here and ride and let it hang out for a minute you guys are going to come with me and rock and roll we're going to hit a quick tight turn right here this is a tight one right here man super tight turn we're going to rock and roll down the country road and get a quick ride in let's get that money man I'm hungry, I'm hungry, you two, for more power, and I want that 114. 
I just need you guys to let me know if it's worth the money or not. I'm riding up on this guy. You see, he got the scooter right here. Man, should these dudes be allowed in the street? Let me know what your opinion is right here, my man. I say no. That is a hazard to us out here getting it in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, man, and just like that in a flash, I am about to pull up to the Batcave. I am always grateful to make it out on the bike, but I am always even more grateful to make it back home safe without any scars, bruises, or scrapes. And it is just a great day on the motorcycle. Consider yourself lucky, guys. Say a prayer every time you make it back home. Guys, I'm about to pull into the cave, so until next time. It is time to wrap this one up. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I can't wait to hear your suggestions on that 114 Milwaukee 8 engine. Till next time, keep those two wheels down. Peace.